Hello, my name is Koki Giles. I live in Brewer. Thank you for the opportunity to speak today on behalf of Maine nurses. My name is Koki Giles. I'm a registered nurse and I'm the president of the Maine State Nurses Association and a vice president of National Nurses United, the largest organization of registered nurses in the United States. Nurses are patient advocates and by extension, advocates of our patients' families and our communities. And we, I'm here to sound the alert on the TPP. Despite the promises and reassurances offered by the Obama administration, the final text of the TPP is even worse than prior reports had predicted. Maine nurses urge Congress to reject this fatally flawed agreement and strongly encourage the Maine legislature to speak out in the public interest against the TPP. While there are many good reasons to reject the TPP, Maine's registered nurses are particularly appalled about this agreement's threat to public health and safety. Monopoly pricing protections for giant pharmaceutical firms in the TPP could be a death sentence for countless patients in need of affordable medications around the world. Pharmaceutical corporations would be given years more of monopoly pricing practices on their patents for high-priced brand name drugs to block the distribution of competitive, cheaper, life-saving generic medications. That is especially critical for people suffering from cancer, HIV, AIDS, hepatitis, and other illnesses in developing countries, as well as in the United States. Patent exclusivity rules that affect when cheaper generic versions of high-priced named brand drugs can go on the market can produce long delays in access to affordable medicines under the TPP. As an example, RNs know the front lines of fighting HIV and AIDS around the world, that when brand name drugs were the only options, AIDS was a death sentence in the world's poorest countries, as well as here in the United States. It was only when the introduction of generic drugs was allowed that dramatic price drops occurred, from 15000 per person per year to just $150, making treatment possible for millions. The TPP would allow drug companies the legal authority to challenge and overturn national laws and regulations that permit governments to negotiate lower drug prices through bulk purchases, which cuts costs for everyone. That would hurt the people in the countries signatory to the agreement that already do drug bulk purchasing, and it would hurt the ability of the U.S. government to finally do here at home. Finally, capital. These gifts to the billionaire drug companies are a cruel and disgraceful threat to the lives of millions of people. The pretext of giving the pharmaceutical corporations expanded monopoly control to repay them for research and development costs is particularly hollow considering that a substantial percentage of those costs are paid for with public funds <coughs> with drugs developed at public universities. Nurses are appalled at the provisions regarding the so-called investor state dispute settlement, ISDS process, that allow global corporations to sue to overturn laws and regulations, including public safety and environmental protections. As has already occurred with prior trade deals, the ISDS process allows corporations to challenge domestic laws through intrajudicial judicial troop tribunals staffed by corporate attorneys that can demand taxpayers reimburse corporations for lost expected profits. In prior trade pacts, this provision has forced some countries to drop health, safety, or environmental rules rather than face bankruptcy from billion dollar ISDS rulings. This agreement is an all out assault on not only health and safety, but also on the democratic rights of the American people to pass public protections. It's another reminder that the pharmaceutical industry and other corporate lobbyists who wrote many of these provisions continue to dominate and corrupt our political system. We can understand why these huge multinational corporations want such <coughs> deals and why they in fact are helping write them. Bigger and bigger profits for them, but Congress should reject this outright because it's clearly not in the public interest. 
In addition to the health concerns that I've already outlined, the TPP would undermine environmental and food safety standards. Maine nurses also share the concerns of workers across the country that the TPP will lead to more job loss, driving down wages, and weakened labor protections in the United States. Nurses and working people will not be silent in working to stop and overturn this dangerous agreement. Maine's members of Congress must now step up and join this fight to defeat the TPP. And we urge this commission and the legislature to strongly recommend they do so. Thank you.